Okay, so in this video, we are asked to calculate the reactions at A and B in a simply supported beam. You have a 20 kN force acting downwards and also a 40 kN force acting downwards as well. So let's use two meters as this distance, three meters and four meters. So first of all, let's determine the free body diagram. Let's construct a free body diagram. So the free body diagram. So we have a reaction, a reaction at B, a reaction at A in fact, acting upwards, so reaction A acts upwards. You have a reaction at B, reaction at B acting upwards. We have a 40 kilonewton force acting downwards and also a 20 kilonewton force acting downwards as well. This distance is two meters. Let's assume this distance to be as mentioned, three meters, and this distance is four meters. So before we begin, take note that we will be taking all the downwards force as negative, all the upwards force as positive, clockwise moments positive, anti-clockwise moments negative. Okay, so. So this is just general notes. So let's begin. So let's begin by taking moments at point B. So taking moments at B. So if we take moments at B, looking towards the left side, you can see we have the reaction A acting upwards, which is two plus three plus four, which gives nine meters away from B. So reaction A times nine plus, look towards the left side again, we see the 20 kilonewton force acting downwards. And as mentioned, downwards is negative. And that is seven meters away from B. So 20, negative 20 times seven plus, towards the left side again, we see 40 kilonewtons acting downwards. That will be negative 40 times, and it's four meters away from B equals. So there's no more forces acting towards the left side of B. If you look towards the right side now, there's nothing as well. So we say that's zero. So let's simplify everything. Nine times RE gives us nine RE plus negative. 140 plus 160, negative 160 equals zero. 9RE, negative 140, negative 160 equals zero. Let's carry across these two. Since it's negative to turn it into positive, 140 plus 160, 160, and we get RA to be 140 plus 160 divided by nine, I get RA to be 33.3, okay? So we have found one of our reactions. RE. So now we need to determine RB. So the sum of forces in the y direction equals to zero. So let's look at all of the forces in the y direction. We see we have RA acting upwards. So that will be RA. We have our 
we have 20 kilonewtons acting downwards. We have 40 kilonewton acting downwards. These two will be negative, and we have RB acting upwards. That will be positive. So plus RB. So these are all the forces in the y direction minus. We said we have negative 20 acting downwards, uh, negative 40 acting downwards equals zero. Now, as mentioned, we know we just found RA. So RA will be 3.3 plus RB minus 20 minus 40 equals zero. So to determine RB, it will be RB is equals to 20 plus 40 minus 33.3. We found RB is equals to 26.7 kilonewtons. So this will be kilonewtons as well.